a dream is the activity of the subconscious mind when you are asleep. Your body is asleep, but your spirit is wide awake. When life gets in the way, I don't think our minds are so open, and I think our minds are much more open when we're asleep. Because it's like a separate personality in your brain, and it's, you're going to listen to them, they're going to talk to you. If you pay no attention to them, they're not going to talk to you. And so uh, a lot has to do with whether we're tuned in and listening. You don't have to go out to meet it. You just have to uh, slow down and be quiet and be open and receptive, and it can come to you. A lot of people then, you know, they'd want to just say, well, all, every dream you have is from God. That is not true. That's crazy, right? We all have uh, what they call, you know, pipe dreams where they just make no sense and you're just here flying, right? And the next minute you're skiing and the next minute you're talking to your mom, she's making you a peanut butter jelly sandwich and then you're in your own house, you know, you, you know, and then bam, it doesn't make any sense. But we all have times where we have dreams that we wake up and we're affected. It's more than just a mind thing. Our emotions are tied in. Our whole body is affected. Um, and um, that is when we know something outside of just a brain function, right, is happening. It's a difficult task to interpret a dream because if it's your dream, you're looking at it so closely that you can't see it, it's blurred. Dreams are crazy. You know, there's, it's not about logic. You have to take logic out of the equation. It's about what those specific situations and people mean to you. Dreams can signal letters that we're getting from ourselves that we're not opening or we're not taking seriously enough.